Okay, so to mark the initial balance high, initial balance low, you're using the time 9.30 a.m. Eastern to 10.30 a.m. Eastern, right? So you can do this for different sessions as well, right? I mean, just think about it. not everybody trades in US. If you're trading Asia, you could do the same thing for their opening one hour. Europe, you could do on and so on, right? And of course, US hours overlap with some of those hours. So you can have different ideas on how to trade. If you're like an owl like Earth and trade all night, uh, you could do that, right? But for majority of uh, people that trade 930, you know, like kind of like a US session, uh, you should be focused from 9.30 to 10.30. So in this case, let me just bring the session break so you guys can see it. <clears throat> we'll do this with the red line. Okay, so let's see. Where's the session break? Are we on ETH? Yep. So here's a session break. That was today, right? Here we go. All right, so if you guys look here, I'm on five minutes, right? So 9.30, we opened here, uh, and then it goes to 10.30, which is here, right? So the high of this opening drive, meaning the initial balance high that we set for the 30 minutes is right here. Everybody see that? So we call that initial balance high because that's, you know, if you guys think about the orbs and what we kind of, you know, started and started preaching in the Discord is you have the first 30 minutes, which sets the sentiment of the market, but the 30, the one hour sets really the initial balances of the market. So this we call initial balance high with or shortly IBH. Then the bottom, since this is the bottom here that was set at 1010, and if you go here, 1030, where's 1030? Right here, this has a higher low. So this is our initial balance low. Okay. So we'll just mark this one as initial balance low. So there's a couple of rules you guys have to kind of follow and apply, right? Uh, if a three or five minute candle, I prefer that, you know, if you're a newbie and you're trying to understand this, use five minute candles, right? Uh, and you can even use Ashi candles if you're not, you know, 100% and you want to take some noise out. Definitely use the Ashi candles just to help you stay in the trades longer. Uh, if you're more comfortable, you know, you're not a brand new trader, you can definitely use regular candlesticks because they help you with the price action. Ashi candles don't give you the gaps or any of that. So because they consider previous candles open closed to build the new candles. So in this case, if this is our initial balance high, initial balance low, oh, there's two rules you need to follow. First rule, if to, I say if three minutes, three five minute candles or three three minute candles close above the initial balance high, that means there's an 88% chance that this low of the day is the low, this initial balance low is the low of the day. 